What an amazing evening keynote block of speakers. That was phenomenal. Everything from Emmy's absolutely amazing spoken word performance. She's actually hosting a workshop after Tulane Montgomery and Surgeon General's Vivek Murthy's conversation on the importance of building connection between our communities, individuals, and systems. It was amazing getting to hear from the teacher and student of the year. And a little fun fact, Jeremiah, the winner of the student prize, his startup focus on renewable energy has actually powered over 150 households and 15 schools free of charge. And that makes up about 9,000 students. Isn't that amazing? And finally, Michael Moe's illuminating talk, which reminds us of why we all share this mission to build a future in which all people have equal access to the future. Thank you all for joining us virtually for the first day of the ACU GSV Summit. It's been amazing so far. We really hope you enjoyed today's programming and we're so excited to have you back tomorrow. A huge, huge thank you to our sponsor, American Student Assistant, for sponsoring this virtual event. And just to give you a little preview, we will have another packed day of content activities that I am so excited for. We'll have a Tuesday morning stage X with a special one of a kind Ed on the Edge wrap, personalized just for this audience with speakers like President Michael Crow and Tom Friedman, Bright Horizons founder, Margaret Kondracki and current CEO, Stephen Kramer, Tom Friedman on the current political landscape, Stedman Graham, an amazing crew of HBCU presidents such as David Thomas from Morehouse, Walter Kimbrough from Dillard and Michael Sorrell from Paul Quinn. And don't forget to catch our evening celebration of all things entrepreneurship and innovation. In fact, our top 20 GSC Cup contestants will be pitching to compete to win a total of one million in cash and credit prizes tomorrow night. And we'll also feature conversations with Andrew Yang on toppling the two-party duopoly, representing API across the country, and his initiatives using Web3 to advocate and push for crypto-friendly regulations. So yeah, this wraps our broadcast for today. I'm your virtual host, Claire Zhao, and I'll see you tomorrow. Wow, welcome back. What an amazing evening keynote block of speakers. That was phenomenal. Everything from Emmy's absolutely spectacular spoken word performance to Tulane and Surgeon General Vivek Murthy's conversation on the importance of building connection between our communities, individuals, and systems. It was amazing getting to hear from the teacher and the student of the year. And a little fun fact, Jeremiah, the winner of the student prize, his startup focus on renewable energy has actually powered over 150 households and over 15 schools free of charge. So that makes up about 9,000 students. Isn't that amazing? And finally, Michael Moe's illuminating talk, which reminds us of why we all share this mission to build a future in which all people have equal access to the future. Thank you all for joining us virtually for this very first day of the ASU GSC Summit. There's only more to come. We hope you enjoyed today's programming and we're so excited to have you back tomorrow. A huge, huge thank you to our sponsors, American Student Assistance, for sponsoring this virtual event. To give you a little preview, we will have another jam-packed day of content and activities that I personally am so, so excited for. We'll have a Tuesday morning stage X with a special one-of-a-kind at on the edge wrap from Ike Ramos, personalized just for this audience. We'll have speakers like President Michael Crow and Tom Friedman, the Bright Horizons founder, Margaret Kondracki, and her current, the current CEO, Stephen Kramer. Tom Friedman on the current political landscape, a very critical conversation. Seven Graham, an amazing crew of HBCU presidents such as David Thomas from Morehouse, 
Walter Kimbrough from Dillard, and Michael Sorrell from Paul Quinn. And don't forget to catch our evening celebration of entrepreneurship and innovation tomorrow night. Our top 20 GSV Cup contestants picked from over 800 submissions will be competing to win a total of 1 million in cash and credit prizes tomorrow night. And we'll also showcase a conversation with Andrew Yang on toppling the two-party duopoly, representing AAPI across the country, and his initiatives using Web3 to advocate and push for crypto-friendly regulations. So yeah, that wraps our broadcast for today. I'm Claire Zhao, your virtual host, and I'm so excited to see you all tomorrow.